that is. It was stupid and futile. There is no retirement plan in drug dealing, not one that doesn't include a penitentiary. My friends have always told me I should write a book about my life. I tried writing that book a few times, always quickly losing interest. The life they were talking about was my life as a child and what I had endured during those years. I'm not interested in writing about those years, so I didn't write anything. I missed writing. I had always written poetry and short stories all through school. Once I was in my 30s, I stopped completely. I don't know why. I guess the world had gotten to me and, it drank, and, and I drowned it deep down there where a person places the confidence they once had as a doe-eyed kid and left it there for a better part of a decade. But I missed it every day of that decade. I saw myself writing a book, but the pages were empty because I didn't know what I was going to write about. One day I was on the phone and the person I was talking to told me, a friend of his who had recently written a book and got it published while the author was in prison. He told me I should write a book of my own. At first I had a slick comment, but then the story I wanted to tell literally just popped into my head. That night I started writing Pig Town Chronicles, and 15 weeks later, and in 15 weeks I had written my first book. I was a new person. I had completed my, the first part of my lifelong dream. The second part of that dream is to share it with you. I want to dedicate this book first and foremost to my grandmother Elaine and my daughter Jasmine, the Alpha and Omega of my very existence, the two most important people in my life. My Aunt Nikki for teaching me calmness, my Aunt Lisa for being my moral compass. Next, my brothers, Kenny, Kareem, Warid, and Tupac. You are the trampoline that catches my falls every time I jump into the world. Finally, I want to dedicate this book to everyone who has had their dream buried deep within them, for whatever reason it has been. This book is tangible proof that you can live your dream. This book is my dream, and after all that life has thrown at me, I still wrote it. Not for anyone other than me. Not for any other reason, but this is my dream. If I am the only person to ever read this book, I will pass through this life with a smile on my face, simply because I wrote my book. I did it, and I love every word I wrote. I look forward to you living your dreams. May the heavens smile on a lot of you and see you to your own dreams.